An antifungal agent is a drug that selectively eliminates fungal pathogens from a host with minimal toxicity to the host. One of the targets of antifungal agents is fungal cell wall. The fungal cell wall is composed of manaproteins, chitins acetylglucosamin polymers, and alpha and beta-linked glucans. The fungal cell membranes have a unique sterol, ergosterol, which replaces cholesterol found in mammalian cell membranes. Let's start with polyenes amphotericin B and nistatin. Polyenes are molecules with both hydrophilic and lipophilic characteristics. They bind to ergosterol, a sterol specific to fungal cell membranes, and cause the formation of artificial pores, which allows electrolytes and small molecules to leak out of the cell and due to this the cell death occurs. The azoles including ketoconazole, fluconazole, itraconazole, and voriconazole. Azoles interfere with fungal cell membrane permeability by inhibiting the synthesis of ergosterol. They inhibit C14-alpha demethylase a cytochrome P450 enzyme, thereby blocking the demethylation of linosterol to ergosterol, the principal sterol of fungal membranes. This inhibition disrupts membrane structure and function, which then inhibits fungal cell growth. Terbinafin. It is synthetic allylamine and orally active. It interferes with ergosterol biosynthesis by inhibiting the fungal enzyme squalene epoxidase. Acting as a structural analog of squalene, terbinafin causes the accumulation of this unsaturated hydrocarbon, and a decrease in ergosterol in the fungal cell membrane. The accumulation of toxic amounts of squalene result in the death of the fungal cell. Echinocandins. Caspofungin, anidolofungin and mycofungin are echinocandin. The echinocandins are glucan synthesis inhibitor have a unique fungicidal action, inhibiting the synthesis of beta-1,2 glycan, a critical component of fungal cell walls. Disruption of the fungal cell wall leads to cellular osmotic instability and cell death. Griseofulvin. It is fungostatic in nature. It interferes with mitosis multinucleated and stunned fungal hyphae result from its action. It causes abnormal metaphase configuration, however doesn't cause metaphase arrest, rather the daughter nuclei fail to move apart or move only a short distance. It does not inhibit polymerization of tubulin but somehow disorients the microtubules. Antimetabolite. Flucytosine. It is a pyrimidine antimetabolite and inactive as such. Flucytosine is taken up by fungal cells via the enzyme cytosine permes. 5-FC is then converted by a series of steps to 5-fluorodeoxyuridine-5 monophosphate. This false nucleotide inhibits thymidylate synthase, thereby depriving the organism of thymidylic acid, an essential DNA component. The unnatural mononucleotide is further metabolized to a trinucleotide 5-fluorodeoxyuridine-5 triphosphate and is incorporated into fungal RNA, where it disrupts nucleic acid and protein synthesis. Cyclopyrox. Cyclopyrox inhibits the transport of essential elements in the fungal cell, disrupting the synthesis of DNA, RNA, and protein. Talnaftate. Talnaftate distorts the hyphae and stunts mycelia growth in susceptible fungi. Share and subscribe the channel for more video regarding pharmacology.